Our next showcase is the website Wolfgang's Vault, which was launched from the archive of famous concert promoter Bill Graham, whose original name was Wolfgang. He is credited with discovering and launching the careers of some of the greatest talent of the 1960s, such as Jimi Hendrix, Jefferson Airplane, Janis Joplin, and the Grateful Dead. Bill Graham's unique talent for discovering these performances wasn't all he represented as his real genius was creating an art form born of the need to advertise these concerts. Those posters taped on store windows or tacked on the telephone poles became iconic pieces of the 20th century American art and the graphic artists who rendered them became famous in their own right. Today the original concert posters from the 60s and 70s have become highly collectible and investment grade pieces of art and the graphic imagery immortalizes an important time and place in our cultural heritage. With us today is Catherine York, the archivist of Wolfgang's Vault, here to share with us some of the amazing artwork. Welcome to the show, Catherine. It's a pleasure to be with you, Elizabeth. Well, give us a little overview of Wolfgang's Vault. Why don't we look at a little video of the site? That would be great. Okay, let's do it. Wolfgang's Vault is the place for all things related to the live concert experience. The highlights of Wolfgang's Vault are Concert Vault, and the Vault Store. Concert Vault contains almost 3,000 historic live concert recordings, with more being added to the site every day. You can stream all of these concerts for free, download many of them, create your own playlists from them, write your own comments about them, and share them with friends. In checking out this Grateful Dead concert, for example, you can play the concert, read a concert summary, add songs to your own playlists, check out concert comments from other folks who were there or loved the show, and then you can also check out the vault store to see what vintage memorabilia or retro items are available for sale related to that concert or performer. You can check out the backstage area of the website where you can find vintage backstage passes and laminates, as well as historic Rolling Stone magazines, vintage pins, mugs, stickers, and more. The vault contains over a half a million photographic negatives related to live performers. The vault store contains vintage apparel made at the time of the concert and retro items made to commemorate the historic shows. And finally, you can scroll through the historic concert posters from the early 1960s on related to the band or the individual performance. Wow, so much to see here and purchase. Now, you've brought some examples of some of the incredible artwork and historic posters available. Tell us about them. Yes, I have. I thought I'd feature some of the most historic rock poster art ever created and shine a light on some of the most famous graphic artists of the 20th century. Well, let's check out the first one. Tell us about it. Okay, uh, the first one is this one. It's called The Flying Eyeball. It's the most famous poster in rock and roll. And it was rendered by a guy uh, by the name of Rick Griffin, who started uh, penciling and rendering The Flying Eyeball after watching the uh, pinstriping detail work of California uh, car pinstriper yeah. Von Dutch. And uh, he uh, became legendary for the heavy fonts that you can hardly understand. These uh, uh, very detailed illustrations that harken back to ar archaeology and theology with the flaming eyeball uh, with tentacles uh, crossing over the conscious and unconscious plane. And this is for a Jimi Hendrix concert in February 1968. Wow, it is just impressive. Now let's talk a little bit about pricing. Okay, the original poster is extremely rare mm -hmm. and would garner $15,000. Oh, easily. We have secondary printings that were printed in December of the very same year that go for 1900 And then we have wow. serographs that Rick Griffin rendered in large, oversized detail uh, in, 19, in the 1980s mm -hmm. uh, that he also penned and numbered by hand. So we have those. As well, we have rendered, we own the copyrights on this poster and the others that we're going to feature. So we have created limited edition reprints so that uh, you can have one for your home at the detail and size of the original for under 200 and one blown up eye popping size for uh, under 50. Wow, that's excellent. So a lot of different price ranges. Yeah. And, you know, just depending on the collector and what kind of money they want to spend exactly. will depend on what they get. Now tell me about this next one. Well, this poster was created 
by the wife of impresario Bill Graham. And uh, it was for a Yardbirds and Doors series of concerts uh -huh. in 1968. And she was a great poster artist who didn't get her start. She had no, t uh, no uh, formal training in graphic arts. She would render in chalk a listing of the upcoming uh, events coming to the Fillmore mm -hmm. and embellish with some, you know, swiggly lines on the side. Yeah. And then her husband gave her an art, uh, a, a painting palette. She started becoming the poster artist of the Fillmore. And her pieces took on a kind of gothic look, lots of embellishments, but usually a face, very serene, Beautiful. very sedated, kind of like that... Uh, ethereal, you know, 60s counterculture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah gorgeous, beautifully, though. Beautifully colored pieces. That mm -hmm. is incredible. Now, I've been eyeballing this one with the blue rose. Yeah. Tell us about it. It is fabulous. This, this is great. Uh, frosty blue rose in a midnight setting. This was created for the last shows at Winterland Auditorium in 78. Uh, the Grateful Dead were the house band at that auditorium, and they, they played over 35 shows, and they always closed the New Year's events each year. Mm -hmm. And this was the final show with the Blues Brothers uh, on the secondary <laughs> bill. And it's just a beautiful piece by Alton Kelly and Stanley Mouse, who collaborated on a lot of posters over mm -hmm. the years, a lot of album covers and such. And it's just a beautiful, soft, lovely, piece of artwork hearkening to a fantastic event. It's gorgeous, mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. Now, what about price in this one? Uh, well, the price on a first printing of this runs about $1,900. Mm -hmm. We do have secondary printings of this as well in our limited edition reprints. Amazing. Now, mm -hmm. finally, I see this awesome Jimi Hendrix piece back here. Yes. You need to tell us about this. That is very psychedelic. Well, I thought I'd start and end with the Jimi Hendrix yeah. piece. Uh, this one is from the Fillmore East. The Fillmore East was okay. a uh, famous venue in New York City, only open from 68 to 71. Mm -hmm. Only 11 posters were ever rendered. This is number seven. It's called FME7. And uh, David Bird was the guy who was the graphic artist uh, on the East Coast, bringing that West Coast sort of style oh, to yeah. Bill's venue in the East. And Jimi Hendrix loved this piece so much that he asked David to wind up uh, putting together his press uh, kits from then on. So wow. it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece and the first printing um, runs about forty five hundred dollars it is in incredible because the colors just pop I know they're amazing Isn't it, gorgeous? it is gorgeous now my question is are any of them sold in stores well Wolfgang's vault is an online website okay uh, we don't have a brick-and-mortar store you can sometimes find posters first and secondary printings in uh, poster shops or record stores okay but Wolfgang's vault is the only place where you're going to be guaranteed of the provenance and the condition of the items that are purchased. What about delivery? How are we work in that for the holidays? When do we need to order by? We will uh, ship up to the 23rd for delivery on Christmas Eve. Fabulous. Well, thank you, Catherine, so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Oh, thank you. For you guys at home who would like to give a little piece of music history to someone you love, or for yourself, simply log on to the web and visit www.wolfgangsvault.com. Once again, the site is wolfgangsvault.com. Visit them today.